sense. This weed bar you let me know, bro. No, I'm good. You already know we've been going for a while, man. Been in the booth dropping music. You know, Rook Thompson, subscribe to the page. Good Good TV, exclusive artists, exclusive music, exclusive interviews. We got my man Charles Brown up here, bro. It's good to have you in here, bro. Y'all already know, man. We're gonna keep giving y'all fire. We ain't stopping it. We got the movie coming in soon. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna get y'all too much because I don't know what the day gonna drop, but it's definitely coming. We got Q behind the camera. If you need your music or videos done, he do all that, man. Beast two. Beast two. Let's get it. Alright, state your name. Charles Brown. Charles Brown. Yeah, yeah. Where you where you from? Am I looking at you or am I looking at the camera? Are you like anywhere? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, cool, cool. Look at the camera. The yeah, camera. Look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just making sure. Alright, man. <coughs> Born and raised in Area PA, 814. Where you started rapping? I mean, I started rapping about 18, 19 years old. Yeah. Okay. Where they could find your music? Oh man, you can go to my website, uh, www.gbrown.com, everything's right there. Mm. Mm. What was you listening to growing up? Uh, I listened to a lot of DMX, Tupac, okay. you know what I'm saying, Nas. So far we got everybody saying Eminem, yeah. I ain't heard DMX, I ain't heard yeah. Eminem. Yeah, DMX is one of my first. Uh, I got to like Jada, you know what I'm saying? Fabulous, the type of guy, Scarface, so the Argent 2000. Yeah, you got, you got all types of bulls, boys. Mm -hmm. All types of sides. Mm -hmm. yeah. <coughs> Why you started rapping? Because I've always felt like I had something to say. You know what I'm saying? I was writing poetry first, mm. and I was making beats at the same time. I said, that just, that just kind of like came together when I was like 18, 19. And uh, I just always felt like I had a story to tell, so. Story rapping, I felt like that was the best way to get heard. Uh, yeah. How is how is the support in Harry? I mean, it's uh to keep it real, it's wishy washy. You know what I mean? Like you got people and that. Not trying to go ahead, go right ahead. Not trying to run you, but yeah. Cause they always say, oh, what they mean by like eerie, why they always just say the eerie. By that, the, the support system is we talking about how is the support system like he said wishy-washy so what you mean by wishy-washy is it sometime in or is it there but it's not there or like how is it and explain to them yeah yeah it's, it's, it's there but it's not there you know what i mean like a lot of people in erie don't believe in us you know what i mean like everybody know erie got like a black cloud and don't nobody really like to support anybody but what i've noticed is that you keep pushing you keep doing your thing people start waking up Right. You know what I'm saying? So we always gonna have a bunch of people that don't fuck with you. Mm -hmm. We always got some few that come out the woodworks and they start appreciating what you do and they start telling eight people. So I mean, it's pretty pretty. For sure, I definitely like that as a <coughs> So when you uh, when you start your uh, you know your shows and everything, do you be ready? Do you be like do you be like nervous? I'm nervous before every single show, every single one, like because you never know how it's gonna be. Even if you're just doing the same songs, like, it's always a different venue. It's always a different face in there that never saw you. you and, that, I mean? and that's crazy because I'd I, I, I be nervous too. Yeah. But when I watch you, you don't have the nervous look. You look like you been here and you already know what you're doing. So it don't, you don't even need to take, you look like you just gonna already go in for it. To me, when I get ready for a venue, I be all nervous. I get butterfly. I'm like, damn, yeah, like, yeah. But hey, the show must go on. You still gotta do it, so that's just how I be. But right, it's, yeah, it's now or never. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I, I, when I'm on stage, I'm so confident because it's like it's either I'm gonna do it or I'm gonna go home. And I know I'm gonna get shitted on if I go home. So yeah, I gotta do it. You know what I mean? If I'm gonna do it, I gotta do it to the to the fullest extent. But I get nervous and butterflies. But a lot of it is like it's excitement too. Like you know, I'm about to do what I love to do in front of these people. So yeah, it's all of that. Is there any artist you're willing to work with? I'm willing to work with everybody, man. Like I don't discriminate. I don't play that. You 
Street side, West Side bullshit. You know, I don't care if you from Mill Creek or you from the hood. Like I don't give a fuck. Like if you, if you make music, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you love it and you're talented, like let's come together and make something beautiful for somebody to hear. That's what I'm all about. So I don't want anybody. Who you shoot your videos? Oh man, my man, Three Gloves, uh, Crew Life. This dude Zach Kubiak, he just shot my latest video called Conflicted. Uh, yeah, those are pretty much the main ones right there, man. Yeah. Oh, okay, so how you come up with the name Charles Brown? It's my government name. Okay. You know what I mean, because I was. I was thinking that was just a name that you just came up with, but that's your, your yeah, that's my government name. And then of course I switched it to C Brown because I wanted something like a little catchy, like a stage name. Okay, you know what I mean. But like I go by, I go by both C Brown, Charles Brown. It don't matter. It's the same to me. Mm. Yeah. How many uh, how many projects? I know you got a lot of projects, but what's the latest project you just put out? Uh, I put out a project called uh, The Evaluation that came out last night. So you know what I mean? So we were close to the year with that being out. I know that was a little soundtrack. You see, I didn't want to put too much out there. You know what I mean? How was the vibe coming up making that work? What's the, who produced the songs on the uh, EP? Uh, I made all the beats for it. Oh, it was yeah, okay. it was my first project. Well, I made all the, I did all the production for the chair, so that's why I kind of special with me because I never did that before. And uh, I recorded myself. So, and I had my man Rush, Cowboy Z, uh, mixed everything down. You know I mean? So, do you think you got to go to a certain studio? For your music to come out good, uh, I mean yes and no, but it all—it's all about the atmosphere, man. Like, like I said, with that last project, I recorded myself. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have to go to like a big time studio or whatever like that. As long as your surrounding is good, you know what I'm saying? And you go in there with the right mindset, like you straight. Cause a lot of people always think they need the all the mixing and all the big keyboards and all the. And the song gonna come out good, but what I try to tell them, cause I produce my own music. I don't. I I've been to studios. Yeah. And a lot of people may want a lot or want maybe eighty, a hundred dollars to an hour or something like this. But in reality, like if you sit down, if you sit down and just watch, you can be on bus and learn it too. It's not hard. I've been doing it. That's the only reason I started rapping because. I wanted to learn how to do everything. I learned everything young. So when I first started rapping, I had to get me a studio young. So when I got older, I would know how to produce and engineer my own music without having to go, can you help me do this? Can you show me? But basically with the end, what I'm getting out is you can do it too. Mix your own stuff down too. You don't have to go to this pop. You don't have to go to DJ Khaled or Motherfucker, you don't have to go to this person's studio just to make a right hit. You can make your hit yourself, like, yeah, it's yeah. there, man. You got the equipment, just put it out there and do it right. That's all you got to do, but... Right. You don't need, like, the big-ass sound boards and all of that, you know what I mean? Like, that's, yeah. just, for, that's just for looks. Because you know everybody feeling like they need to go to those big environments to make it big, but you probably can go get you a, a regular laptop, a mic, and a simple Yamaha mixer, and make the best music. Yeah. But another thing, when when is a next show or when when the next show event coming coming? You always doing events, you always having shows. Y'all gotta get his man respect, man. Like honestly, like he always putting work out, he always pushing no matter what the type of crowds or people i seen this man even rock white crowds and the people love him man so like it's just good to have charles brown on here man yeah and we just want to we just want to i just want to let you know man i've been supporting i'm a fan it's a lot of people putting things out i still watch and i salute you always man yeah, that's just how i know all up, man. I'm, I'm everywhere, man. That's what I want to do. I want to be everywhere, man. Like, people think, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, with the music that I make, I'm trying to, like, direct it towards a certain crowd. But in, in all actuality, like, I make music for everybody. You know what I'm saying? And I perform anywhere. Like, just give me the invite. You know what I'm saying? Send me the details and I'm there. I perform. So, I just need people to know that. Like, my music and, and what I do is for everybody and it's mainly for Erie. Like, I represent Erie. 
and, and can't nobody take that away from me no matter what anybody is saying, man. So if you see me rocking, you know what I mean, a white crowd or a black crowd or whatever, whatever, like, I do this shit for everybody. I can't help who listens, I can't help who comes to the shows, but just know that my music is for everybody who got a heart and a mind, who's been through some shit, you know what I mean, who, who grew up a certain type of way or whatever, like, I, I do it for the people, man. Most definitely, man. So, you you think you got a, you been working on any other music or you got anything with anybody else news coming out that we nobody don't know about? I mean, I got some songs, and, you know what I'm saying, tucked away and whatnot. I don't know when I'm going to release it. I'm kind of like going back and forth just trying to get everything right, you know what I'm saying? Because like, I don't want to be putting out all this music and nobody listening, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to do that. I got to have it going out too. I just, I just keep uploading, 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 but I... Hey man, I just wanna. I, I'm trying to get her. I just want you to listen. That's yeah, yeah. I just want this to listen. Rook. Yeah, this me, the rook. I remember when you said that mixtape monthly, man. Yeah. yeah. And if you got any questions, ask me too. You can too, bro. We on good, good TV because yeah, yeah. people out here be want to know like, oh, why the the person that's asking questions don't ever get asked questions? I make music. I did the music every month. Whatever you need to know. And we did have a show too, y'all. He was at the show. We did our thing. And I just wanted to ask you here too, what was your opinion about it? About the whole show? Yeah, because I'm glad we're talking about it, because we were, we were both there. Um, I mean, I thought it was cool, you know what I mean? Like, it was a, it was a good idea. I don't like to compete too much. But yeah. It, it was good to see everybody on that stage, man. Like, to me, it felt like one big-ass show yeah. and whatnot. Um, I mean, I was just happy to be there. Support. You know support. what I mean? Like, it wasn't really about... Who did it? Yeah, I yeah. The, like for the culture type shit, like I yeah. was the right person to win. You know what I mean? Definitely respect. Definitely respect. Yeah, yeah. But it was dope though. It was, it was a fun night. You know. I just definitely wanted your opinion on that because everybody always be asking me, or everybody thinking Rook is the the Grinch of everything. But me, I'm just me. I just, bro, I just. I'm just me, but I'm just out. Out. <laughs> You brought out a We all good, but we good. We good. But I'm happy I had you on here, bro. Yeah. Definitely respect. I want to keep seeing good music. I want to keep seeing good videos and keep it going, bro. You're a solid dude, bro. Stay up, man. We on Good Good TV. We got my man Charles Brown on here. Yeah, and we out. Or the dreams of those unlike me Forget being a leader I'm holding myself back Trying to bother Somebody told me that It's like putting shoes on a toddler